Hello everyone. Today's video is all about the Philips HD 9270 air fryer, digital XL. Now, um, I bought this air fryer um, a couple of months ago. I've used it occasionally. And uh, some of the favorite things that I've done was to roast a whole chicken, make tandoori chicken and so on. Now, a few of uh, the viewers actually asked if I could actually cook and show frozen food. So today I'm doing that video. I'll show you what I have. These are all frozen, like right directly from the freezer, not thawed at all. Okay, I've got two chicken sausages, just normal, the standard uh, fare of a uh, standard fare. Uh, I've got a frozen fish cake. I've got three frozen chicken nuggets, fries, and five frozen fish balls. These are all frozen hard. Okay, let's see how well the air fryer stack up. And you know, I, I I'm being a bit silly that you know all of these things will take different times to cook. But hey, let's just dump it all in and see what happens all right let me put it all in okay so let's try our best to fit everything inside now uh, the, the fish cake would probably be the hardest to cook so i'm going to put it directly in the middle and then um, let's put the um, sausages by the side here uh, so that it gets more airflow okay and then we'll put the chicken nuggets um, you know what, I'll put the chicken nuggets to the side uh, because um, the I think the fish ball will be harder to cook. One, two, three, and then one more chicken nugget over here. And then we'll put the fries at the side. Okay. Um, the fries that I have uh, isn't salted, so I've like added some salt. Let me just put it all at the side, like this. Okay. Some, sometimes all these things needs to be arranged so we can get higher airflow. Uh, but let me see if I can. Okay. And sometime in the middle, um, I obviously need to go and like uh, turn this around. Okay. All right, let me just show you. If I can get my camera working, so I have like like spaced it out as best as I can. Um, I didn't just want to simply throw it in. So let's see how well it cooks together. Okay. All right, let's put this thing in. Okay, let's uh, turn it on. Power on. Now I will basically use the frozen fries menu. Uh, that's chick. That's um. That's um. Normal potatoes, uh, chicken, fish, pie, meat, vegetables, and you know, keep warm, right? So, oops. Let me just cycle through. So the first that's at one eighty at thirty. Oh, that's thirty one minutes. I think that's gonna be okay. So let's start. And halfway in the middle, I will at about fifteen minutes. I will like try to see if I need to turn it around. Okay, so let's put this to the test and see how well it does. I have to come back. So we've just passed the fifteen minute mark, uh, sixteen minute balance. Let's have a look. Okay, I'll open this before. Oh my god. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna tilt the camera. Okay, I'm sorry. Um. The sausages have blown out. Um, the okay. Let me just turn this around. Okay, let me just turn all of this around. Okay, like this. And this fish cake needs to be turned. The fish cake seems very fluffy now, and even the bottom part seems to be fairly toasty. So in fact, I don't have to turn it. But let's see if I need to turn the sausages. I'll I'll try to turn it anyways. Okay. I think the fries are alright. I don't need to like turn the fries or anything. The fish ball will I roll it a little bit and uh, you can actually see like um they have like uh, collapsed back. So let's put it in for an extra until whatever time it's supposed to finish, right? Um I'm gonna like just move the fries a little bit, I'm not sure if that will help, but uh, okay, okay. 
I think the sausages are definitely cooked, but uh, let me just put that back in. Okay, and again, just remind the beauty about the digital uh, Philips air fryer is that the timer doesn't continue when you pull out the basket, unlike analog ones, and once you put it back in, it continues the timer. Okay, I'll come back, it's done. So I've got 8 minutes left. Uh, this is like another 8 minutes. Wow, this is coming together really well, isn't it? Let me just uh, turn the camera so you can see it. So this is a total of... Um, <laughs> it's hard for me to count. <laughs> About 22 minutes. Okay, 22 minutes. The sausages are like rock hard now. Uh, it's all puffed up. Let me just give it another turn. I probably don't need to turn it so much right now. Let me just turn this as well, just to make sure like... Um, I give it an even cooking. Okay. okay. I think the fries are almost done. So okay, let's uh, put it back in. Oops. Okay. Okay. So eight more minutes. All right. Uh, so this is like uh, just over. Uh, thirty minutes. All right. I don't think we had we actually needed that amount of time, but. Uh, I was just uh, keen to like, let the time time finish, but uh, that's the result after 30 minutes. I think the fries are very crispy, definitely cooked, even the fish ball, okay. Um, I think this is a bit of an overkill, look at my fish cake, it's brown both sides. The fish ball are like so brown now, uh, I think this is like totally dried out. Okay, let's... Uh, so give it a bit of time to let it cool down and then, sorry i'm moving my uh what, what do you call this uh tongs <laughs> too often but uh, i'm gonna let this thing cool down and then it'll deflate and then let's see the results in a bit okay give it three minutes and i will come back okay uh, let it for two minutes now huh? let's see it's like still super hot but fish ball too long in the air fryer Way too long. It's almost. I'm sorry. It almost dried out. Fries. Fries are okay. It's crispy and it's almost dried out. So it's like chips now. Sorry, I'm talking when I'm chewing. I should cook less. Um, chicken nuggets. Let me just cut this. Okay, so it looks pretty cooked to me, but let's uh, let's try a piece of this. Hmm. Probably a bit too long. Sausage, this looks very dry, but let's see. Hmm. Okay, too dry. Sorry. Fish cake, this should be alright. There's a big pile of uh, fish cake inside. This is pretty good. That's the problem about throwing everything of different cooking times inside. But everything is cooked. Some a bit too much. Um, so for, for those of you who are asking, show me how this uh, Philips 9270H uh, XLF fryer is handling frozen food. There you go. Um, from frozen, rock solid, uh, combination of fries, nuggets, chicken sausages, fish cake, fish ball um, in the normal cycle for frozen fries, 31 minutes, quite full um, I think we should have left it about maybe 25 minutes I think that would be much better so okay, if you got any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below and if you want me to 
air fry something other frozen that you have one you have you don't know and you want to try it let me know and i will try to figure it out <laughs> okay i will see you all in the next video um so before i go i just want to mention this is the uh Philip, philips hd 92770 sorry let me just say that again the philips hd 9270 digital xl air fryer <laughs>